If you wanna transform your brats from this to this, you have found the right playlist. Today's video is all about cleaning brats' hair. Hey, Moody Brats, it's Michaela. Welcome back, or if it's your first time here, I am so glad you've joined us. This is part two of 10 brats transformations. If you haven't watched part one, go ahead and watch that. It's all about cleaning the bodies, and this time we're focusing on the hair. For this process, you will need a sink, some soap, I prefer using Dawn, I think it really does go further. Conditioner, it doesn't really matter what kind. Combs and nail scissors that you reserve specifically for use with your dolls. A way to boil water, a bowl, and some fabric softener. If you are not an adult, get an adult's help for the boiling water because it is really hot and you can burn yourself. And we don't want that. Now it's time for the hair. I am going to go in with the Dawn dish soap again. I'm gonna put them all in the sink and get them all wet. I'm gonna put soap on the hair. I'm gonna try to put all the hair together. Like, this is the most dolls I've ever restored at one time, so it's a different experience for me. <laughs> Going in with the Dawn. I'm just gonna, like, pour some on them. Oh my gosh. And get it a little more wet. And oh my gosh, wow, it's, like, literally already so soapy. Something that you want to be mindful of, though, is the parts, because it is hard to, to redo them, so just Try to like keep the part where it is when you're lathering and then just like really it's just like when you wash your own hair just like getting it nice and lathered in there i'm gonna lather all of them and then rinse all of them do the second lather on all of them rinse all of them and then we will get into the conditioning stage i like to do two lathers so the first time just gets all the soap or the dirt out and then the second time just to make sure like really all the dirt is out and it's extra clean now here we're going to go in with the nail scissors again because we're going to cut out these plastic stays that are sticking out of the heads you're going to separate the hair around it so that it's like there's not any hair around it as much as possible and then we're gonna cut it off and shove it into the head with the scissors first you're gonna cut the the plastic stay down as much as you can like cut it as close to the head as you can see now it's like pretty much on its own there so you're gonna cut it as close to the head as you can making sure not to cut any hairs around it then take the points of the scissors and just push it into the head it might take a few tries just be patient boom there we go the reason you want to do this is because these things can really like get in the way when you're trying to brush the hair because the comb will like catch on them and especially like when they're, I mean not just especially when they're big like this, like even the little ones too. So it is worth taking the time to go in, oh my gosh cut these things i like the little nail scissors because it's easy to get in there and not like get other stuff that you don't want to get now we're going to condition the hair this is the conditioner i'm using it doesn't really matter what conditioner you use i'm also going to be using a comb like i said before i have a bunch of combs i only use on my brats so they're not getting like human oils in them they're just being used on their synthetic hair you want to start combing the hair against a hard surface and you also want to start from the ends and work your way up. Also, be careful not to use too much conditioner. I know you're going to want to, but just like go slowly and work it through. And hopefully like you, you can make your patience do what you want it to. Because honestly, I've had issues with them being greasy when they're done recently on my restoration. So... I don't know, y'all, we're gonna, this is just, this is 10 Brad's transformations, so we're gonna figure it out. They will be transformed, they either, I don't know that they'll be restored to exactly like their inbox glory, but they're gonna look good. But, and, and you wanna really be careful when you're doing it, because their hair, like I said, you know, it can't go back, it can't grow back, so like once there's damage done, that's it. So starting from the ends, 
do 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 like put on a podcast or something i'm listening to brat's line podcast as i do the uh time lapses on here i'm gonna brush and then immediately rinse it like i don't want the conditioner to sit in it because i know it's like putting residue on their hair and whatever but i don't know for me i just i really feel like i like using the conditioner to brush through their hair and like get through the knots because some of them some of these girls do have like knotty hair and so satisfying when you can get the part to like comb out without having to go in with a needle because on some of these girls i think i am gonna have to go in with a needle and like individually separate all of their parts but thankfully a lot of them the parts are still there or they are coming out pretty easily a technique I like to use when they do have their part preserved is splitting the hair in two and working on one side at a time. So that way it helps the part stay there instead of mingling all the hair by like brushing it straight back. So when you're doing this, just think about trying to preserve whatever parts are there and being as gentle as possible. Some hair loss is inevitable. You can obviously see that big gross pile of hair on the counter. The next step in this process is dipping them in almost boiling water mixed with fabric softener. This helps makes the hair nice and shiny, plus it also makes the girls smell like fresh laundry, which is so nice. Then I'm going to give them one final lather with a Dawn dish so and give them a really really good rinse and then just go in pouring the water from the kettle directly on them and combing it this comb is another one i just use for brats i'm not gonna use that much fabric softener just like a little squirt like okay that's kind of like a lot uh, but i think that's good i'm gonna pour it in here and dunk and comb and Duncan comb. I'm gonna do it like halfway and then probably add some more because there's a lot of girlies to do. And I'm going to do my best to keep the parts because we know the parts can be tough to deal with. Oh my gosh, I'm always like worried about melting their hair. I don't know what kind of hair each of them has. I don't wanna accidentally melt it. Oh my gosh, <sighs> I've never claimed to be an expert y'all. I'm just out here having fun, okay? So, wow the one half is so much straighter already that's the magic of this synthetic hair like you just wet it and boom it goes back to its original style oh my gosh this girl's so pretty i'm gonna do curling their hair in another video I'm, I'm excited to experiment with that i do have some different supplies that i've acquired over the time i've been into collecting this is so satisfying notice how i'm taking extra care around the part to keep it there because you guys have been and listening you know we don't want to have to deal with putting that back in i really like doing this step because it really makes them smell like fresh laundry and it's really nice slay slay rats are so freaking pretty i love their sh their screenings i love everything about them honestly i like i'm just going with this wherever it takes me this brats collecting journey well i'm actually gonna clean the comb because i just to make sure there's no conditioner in it real quick comb cleaning i really like don't like their hair looking greasy so i'm like really trying just to do everything I can to make sure that it won't. I am going to just give each girl a really, really thorough lather in the hair and then uh, a really, really thorough rinse. And then they are going back to the kitchen and we will be giving them their final little boil wash, at least for now. And then I'm gonna style them. I'm thinking maybe it would be fun to do like a little theme like because i don't have original outfits for i don't think any of them so we could do like a little theme like they could all dress to a little theme i feel like that would be fun in each each transformation video can be like a different little theme so comment ideas you guys have for other themes and then i'm gonna comb it also so that it's ready to dunk we are now back in the kitchen <laughs> I'm gonna pour it on and comb it. The heat is really what's like changing the texture of the hair, like setting it rather. So you wanna get it while it's hot. Wow, she's so pretty. I'm excited to see them dry. She's so pretty, oh my gosh. Wow. I rinsed her in the cold water off camera because I did not wanna show my kitchen sink because I'm not perfect. Breaths are so fun. These girls are literally serving goddesses like sitting there staring at me. Thank you so much, Amber. Amber, you're amazing. 
I'm so glad that you reached out to me. I am so happy to have these dolls to be able to like give them this new life because like they're looking so much better already. And I'm just like hoping that nobody's hair is gonna be greasy. I think I did. I think I like finally mastered the right way to do this and not get greasy hair. Now I'm actually going to run it under cold water just directly on top of her head because I want to like set it so that it doesn't get tweaked more. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to reevaluate my top five. Oh, wow. Oh, slay. Because I got some really pretty ladies. I'm just going to let it fully drip dry. I have some shoes off camera. I'm going to put them each into a pair of shoes and then like stand them all up to dry. Now they are all gonna stand here and dry. They're also freaking pretty, oh my gosh. I will fiddle with their hair more once they're dry. Hopefully they they turn out like not greasy. I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping. The video on how to restyle the hair and the outfits comes out next week. If you can't wait that long, have no fear because I post on TikTok almost every day and I post on my Instagram story every day. It's the same name there, but it's also listed below. And if you wanna see more episodes on this channel faster and more frequently, you can support the show by donating at the link below. Also, let me know in the comments what other videos you wanna see on this channel because this is like a thing where doing together and I want to listen to you. I want to give you what you want. All right, y'all. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.